What is up, party people? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Jamila. This is Jamila Be Readin' because I do be reading. And today I wanted to, let's say, do a little inventory, a little checking in, <laughs> a little taking stock of all the series that I'm currently in the middle of. And there's quite a bit. There is quite a lot. I'm only going so far as like around 2020 when I started, you know, getting back into reading, reading a lot more, starting a lot of new series, starting this channel. Uh, so this is just from the last three, a little over three years. And we have a lot to get through. And I'm going to split it up in different chunks. So first I'm going to talk about series that I will be continuing on with, series that I am continuing on with and I'm caught up and I'm just like waiting for the next book. And then we'll end it off with books that I am not really sure if I want to continue and I would welcome all opinions on whether or not I should continue with the series. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, series that I will be continuing. These are ones where I'm not caught up with the series. And they're, it's like, I think all of them are completed. Yeah, or there is like a book that I still need to read before I catch up. So, oh uh, boy, you know, I have quite the stack of books over here. Let's start with the thing that's closest to me here, and that is Pet by Akweke Emezi. I read Pet earlier this year. <laughs> Amazing! You know, Akweke Emezi is one of my all-time favorite authors. I loved this, and I have Bitter, which is its prequel. I haven't read it yet. I'm going to get to it soon. Maybe even before the end of this year. I don't know. Let's see here. Another another one that is you're going to see in my favorites um, of the year video coming out later in December. But this is the Parables duology. And I read Parable of the Sower earlier this year, five stars. Octavia Butler is also one of my all-time favorite authors. And I really need to get to Parable of the Talent soon as well. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get to this before the end of the year. By the way, I think this should be required reading for everyone. And if you haven't read it yet, uh, hop, skip, run, jump to your local library or the bookstore to get this. Okay? I feel like I have like a lot of like two book series here um so next we have the celestial kingdoms duology which the first book is daughter of the moon goddess i read this last year and had an absolute ball with this one i really loved it it was just so like magical and i kind of liked that it a lot of things were going on i, I feel like a lot of people might not like the story structure of this but it really really worked for me it felt very folklore uh, mythical, magical, like I said, and the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, I actually am like a third of the way through this. I started listening to the audiobook earlier this year, and then I just got distracted, and I forgot that I was reading this, so I think I need to pick this up again and like start from the beginning and I think I might like read it physically even though I really enjoy the audiobook I just like have a hard time with audiobooks of like fantasy series just because if I'm not really paying attention I'm I'm gonna miss out on things and then I get really lost and confused uh when it involves like a lot of world building or like plot or politics that's why I usually tend to listen to mostly audiobooks of nonfiction. Uh, I also do a lot of like mystery thrillers as that just because it, it's fine if I'm not like totally paying attention to everything. And I know there's a new book kind of coming out set in the same world. I think it's a collection of short stories next year. So that'll be fun to catch up on and read as well. Um, Legends and Lattes, which the prequel just came out. I really liked this book when I read it. I loved it, in fact. And I read it at a time where I had, I had just finished reading the love songs of W.E.B. Du Bois and that like took all emotion out of me. And this came at a really perfect time. And I've since heard a lot of criticisms of this book. And quite frankly, I agree with them. And I feel like if I were to reread this now, I wouldn't love it as much. Um, but I have fond feelings towards it. And again, I think all of the criticisms of criticisms of this book are valid 
but it worked for me at the time and i do want to read the prequel that just came out i think it's bookshops and bone dusts we'll see how how i fare with that but then we have the deathless series which the first book is the golden ones by namina forner and i read this i want to say in 2021 i don't even remember when this came out yeah i think i read this in 2021 or maybe early last year i don't recall but the second book has since come out and i believe it's a trilogy so a third book is coming out soon i think and i think i'm just gonna wait for the series to finish before picking it up because I, I will need to reread this as well but i really really enjoyed this one we have a completed trilogy and that is the inheritance trilogy by nk jemison i have read the hundred thousand kingdoms like three different times with the intention of <laughs> continuing on with the series and then i keep not because i think it's following some of the same characters that were introduced like the gods but it's not like a direct series like sequel in the same way that you would think of in like a traditional fantasy setting where you know like you have one giant story over the course of the series so i think that's why like this is a very completed book like you could just read it by itself and be fine but i really want to finish this off one of my goals for 2024 is to complete nk jemison's backlist which i feel like i keep saying every year and then not doing it but i'm going to hold myself to it in 2024 i really want to put together like a guide to nk jemison because again she's one of my all-time favorite authors probably my favorite author of all time so need to finish this up another duology another book that i read this year and you'll probably end up seeing in my favorites of 2023 and that is the radiant emperor duology the first book being she who became the sun and the sequel that just came out a few months ago he who drowned the world this was so good <laughs> like i feel like this was made for me you know how there are just some books where you're like this was this was perfectly for me that's how i felt about this book i am so excited to read this it's gonna be soon like i don't want to wait that long perhaps before that i keep saying this i've been averaging like five to six books a month and <laughs> I, there's a lot already that I'm trying to read before the end of the year. So we'll see about that. But it's going to be soon. Highly, highly recommend, especially if you're into like historical fantasy. It's it's really light on the fantasy. So I, I wouldn't go into this if you're like someone who needs very straightforward plot with a lot of like magic and action. Like this is a very slow moving, very political book, very much focused on the character developments. And there's not a ton of magic, but... It is fantastic. Ooh, this one's a little dusty. Clearly I have not <laughs> picked up this book in a while, but this is the Supernatural Investigation series by B.B. Alston. So we have Amari and the Night Brother and Amari in the Great Game, which I've not read yet. I read this one, I think it was last year, and I had such a blast. This just reminded me of like all of the like highlights of middle grade that I love. It, it's just so good and i wish i had this book when i was like in middle school or elementary school it's so much fun i love amari as a main character and you know i can't wait to pick this one up i might reread this one also but this is just great for when i just want like something fun and kind of wholesome to read as like a palate cleanser because i feel like i tend to read a lot of heavier things it's a good time highly recommend for everyone in general but especially if you have some younger folk in your life and they they need some book recommendations highly recommend this one and then we have the between earth and sky series the first one being black sun by rebecca rowan horse we also have fevered star which i have not read yet i read this one i think it was 2021 i think it was 2021 and this was so good it was so propulsive and i was so excited for the second book to come out but it took a little bit of time and then you know i got caught up in other things so at this point i think the third book is coming out next year in 2024 and i think that's the conclusion if so i think i'm just going to wait to finish off this series once all of the books are out i tend to i feel like 
I should really stick to series that are already completed because if I read something that's not completed, I it becomes out of sight, out of mind for me, and then I forget about it and I have to like reread. It's just like a lot. So, anyways, another duology, young adult duology, is the Blood Like Magic duology by Lacelle Sambury. Another one that I read a couple of years ago, really, really enjoyed it. I actually really, really like the audiobook, which like I said, I don't typically do audiobooks for fantasy, but this one was like a more straightforward book and it's like YA, so, but the conclusion is Blood Like Fate, which I have not read yet. I do think I probably need to reread this one. I'm kind of like iffy on the details of what happened here because it's been a couple of years, but yeah, another great YA series speaking of a YA series um we have the Graceling Realm books which if you have been a long time follower of me you know that this is one of my favorite series of all time these are the books that I grew up with reading these are some of the books that got me into high fantasy growing up I've read uh Graceling Fire and Bitter Blue which for a while there was the only books that were out and then Kristen Cashel released two additional books one of which is Winter Keep, and then another one that came out, I think Red Sparrow, which I do want to read and continue with. I've been kind of scared to pick them up because I have such a strong love for the original three books, and it's been a while. I'm worried if it's just like a cash grab situation and if they're as good. Uh, so I've been a little bit hesitant because Winter Keep came out in like 2020, I think, or 2021. And so it's going to happen. I'm going to make it happen soon. Okay. And the last one in this in this section where it's uh, books that I, I'm going to be continuing that I haven't finished yet is the Greenbone Saga. <laughs> I just have Jade War, and I've been talking about this. I've been talking about this. I've been talking about this. I need to finish it. It's gonna happen before the end of this year. I December, like if there is nothing else that I read, it's it's just gonna be Jade War. Like I don't care if I don't read anything else because that needs to be finished. It needs to be done. I need to be concluded. It's gonna happen. All right. Let's move on to the series that I am caught up with and I'm just waiting on a new book to come out. So this one I thought was going to be a standalone, but the author announced that there's going to be a sequel, which I'm so excited about because I absolutely adore these characters and would just read a bunch about their adventures and shenanigans. And that is Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. This is such a fun contemporary fantasy with like some romance in it. It's lots of queer rep and it's just so good. I love this so much and I am so excited for the next book. Then we have the Dead Jin Universe books by P. Jelly Clark. We have the first in this is like a short story called A Dead Jin in Cairo. We have a like novella called The Haunting of Tramcar 015. And then the full length novel, A Master of Jin. I absolutely adore this series. I hope that there's just like a bajillion of these because I can follow Fatima and her, her crew solving all of these mysteries forever like i really want this to be one of those like really big paranormal mystery series that gets like a ton of books like that's what i want out of this a book that i read just this year um is outlaw mage by ks fioso who is the same author of the chronicles of a bitch queen series and this is self-published it's the first book in the dagian puppet master series i read this earlier i got sent arc by the author i really really enjoyed this one and i'm very excited to tune in to the second book whenever that's going to come out i hope soon um because i had a great time <laughs> okay this one doesn't have the dust jacket on because I'm like currently in the middle of rereading it and that's Hench by Natalie Zena Walshots. So this one, like for a while, I wasn't sure if there was going to be a sequel, even though like there was room at the end. 
that made it seem like there was going to be more. And this book came out in 2020, I want to say. And I've just been sitting here waiting. I keep checking her socials to see if there's going to be any announcements. And she did announce that there is going to be a sequel called Right Hand. I think hopefully coming out next year. So I am very, very excited about that. I, I really enjoyed this. Uh, and it's really good. <laughs> of course, we have the Legendborn cycle. We have the Legendborn cycle here. Um, Tracy just announced the name of the third book, Oathbound. And unfortunately, it's not coming out until early 2025, which... <laughs> oh, heartbroken. It doesn't even describe it. That is so long to wait. and But it is going to be more than three books. She announced that there's going to be a fourth book. Man, I'm going to be like fucking like 40 years old by the time this series is done. Um, but, uh, you know, it's worth the wait because obviously she's a quality writer and she really takes the time to, on these books. I love it. If you don't already know about this, I don't know what rock you're living under, but have fun under there, I guess. Oh, and then I forgot to grab this one, but this uh, another one that I'm waiting on is the Bethel series by Alex Henderson. The first book is The Year of the Witching, which I really, really loved. And I know there's going to be a sequel. I, it was announced um, and then she ended up like releasing a different book not related to the series, which I also really enjoyed. Uh, but yeah, I'm just kind of waiting, waiting to see when that one's gonna come out. And then another one that I just thought of off the top of my head, which I don't know if it's like technically considered a series, but it's set in the same universe. But The Space Between Worlds by Makaya Johnson, she has like a, I don't know if it's a prequel or just like set in the same world following different characters, but that is coming out next year, which I am very much looking forward to. So we've reached the final section, which is series that i'm in the middle of that i'm not sure if i want to continue and i am opening it up for y'all to let me know if it's worth continuing okay so we have the song of wraiths and ruin duology i read the first book when it came out in like 2020 and i liked it but i didn't love it and then the second book came out and i picked it up but i it's just been a while now uh, since I read this and I would probably need to reread a song of Wraiths and ruin and I just don't know if I'm feeling it um, I if you've read this final one, did you enjoy it? Did you think it was a worthy conclusion? Should I should I finish it off? I don't know another one that I read quite a while ago back in 2020 is uh, the David Bod trilogy I read the first book city of brass and this is another one that I felt kind of iffy about. There are parts of this that I really liked and other parts that I really didn't. And I, I, I can see that S.A. Shocker Wardy is a very strong writer, but I don't know. I was just feeling a little bit mixed about this. I like I know this is such a beloved series and I know a lot of people like it and I a lot of people with similar tastes to me. So I'm, I'm kind of iffy about it. This is another one where I would need to reread this first book. Um, if y'all if y'all think I should, then I will. Another one is the Murderbot series. I read All Systems Red quite a while ago now, and I enjoyed it, but I don't know. I, did, I just didn't really think about it all that much after I read it. I also, I listened to the audiobook and it was like during a time where I was kind of going through like a weird health thing. And I remember I listened to all of it like on the way to uh, a doctor's office that was like very far away and I was like not feeling well and I was like trying to get there and there's so much traffic and I was like vaguely listening to this. So I wasn't <laughs> super uh, listening to it or like paying a lot of attention. So I don't know yeah like I'm I feel like it would be fun to just kind of pick back up and like have it just like as like a little quick thing to read here and there but I'm curious what you what you all think about this series another one is the invisible library I read this first book titled the invisible library earlier this year for a video that I ended up scrapping even though I read all of the books <laughs> in the video for the video and I just decided not to post it but 
I think about this occasionally. This is one that kind of like stays on my mind sometimes. I think it's such an interesting concept. It's like the best way I can describe it is that it's almost like the time variance authority where it's like you have this organization that exists between time and space and you have this library and these like secret agent librarians who go to different like universes to collect these like special books and stuff and there's like magic and interesting creatures and stuff like that going on it's i think it's like a really interesting concept and i didn't dislike it um and i thought the main character was really interesting and i can tell that there was like some interesting like plot threads that are gonna show up in the rest of the series but the thing is the series like eight books long and i just don't know <laughs> if it's worth it i don't i also haven't like heard of anyone reading this one i kind of it, it was the concept of the video was reading books recommended by book quizzes and so that was one of them and i'd never heard of it i haven't heard of anyone reading it even when i went on goodreads like none of <laughs> none of my like mutuals or anything had read it so if you've read this one and think it's worthwhile let me know and then <laughs> this one's kind of random but this the hunger games uh, series because I've read all of these multiple times um, but the ballad of songbirds and snakes uh, came out you know a few years ago which is a prequel and so I guess technically this series is unfinished to me um, in my mind it's just these three books like <laughs> nothing else happened but do you think I should read the Ballad of, of Songbirds and Snakes? Even if you don't think it's good, but if you think it would make like interesting content, I could do a video around it. I don't know. <laughs> I did try to I did try to read it when it first came out, um, and I promptly DNF'd it. But yeah, let me know. All right, that's it, y'all. Uh, we've been here for a minute, but that that's it. And I will see y'all in the next video. And don't forget to let me know which of these series that I'm debating about I should continue with or not. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.